Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. Uh, so is it okay to touch the succulent leaves? Will they damage if you tend to touch them? Then the answer is yes. Uh, please do not touch your succulent leaves. I know it's very tempting. You want to touch them. You want to feel them how we usually tend to touch our foliage plants. But when it comes to succulents, I would say just don't touch them. The reason is because a lot of them have a layer called as farina, which can be easily damaged with a touch of finger now there are a couple of functions of farina one of them being that it is a waxy coating which tends to repel water so farina tends to protect the plant whenever there is any water droplets uh, that might end up on the leaves or on the stem uh, because farina is like a waxy coating it tends to repel water it tends to turn them into a small droplet like a ball of droplet of water and then eventually with the breeze uh, the droplet either tends to fall off or just gets blown away so you have to be extremely careful that you do not disturb the farina farina can be easily disturbed because it's very delicate with a slightest touch of your finger because we all have this natural oil on our skin that oil is enough to disturb the farina on the leaves so it's extremely important that you do not touch the leaves at times accidentally while reporting it is a very common thing that you might happen to disturb it but as much as you can try to avoid touching the leaves Apart from that, farina is also known to reduce the risk of fungal attack and fungal infection because the waxy coating tends to protect the succulent. So a lot of times uh, the succulents are not attacked by pest or by mold or by fungus because of this protective layer. Another most important thing is that it protects the succulent from strong sunlight. Yes, because this waxy coating tends to reflect those harmful UV rays and due to which a lot of times these succulents tend to get protected. A lot of times uh, if the sun's direction changes and if the sun is really strong and if you have a succulent that has farina the farina also tends to work as a sunscreen due to which the risk of your succulent getting burnt is very very low now not all of the succulents have farina uh, you will be able to distinguish this by looking at the leaves but if you take a closer look as you can see a little bit of the tip is damaged the farina has got disturbed but the rest of the leaf has it's basically like a powdery coating the moment you're going to look at the succulent you will feel that there is a powdery coating on that so you have to be extremely careful that these succulents should not be touched by your finger uh, same thing goes with our uh, Graptopetalum purple delight as well. You can see a little bit of disturbance over here. This was while reporting, but you can see there is an overall farina. At times it's not very visible. It looks very minimum, but then they do have. So you have to ensure that you do not touch them. Whereas I have another one. Now this is Echeveria uh, black rose. Now you can see this one does not have any farina. It is just plain glossy uh, succulent. Now this does not have any farina. So if you happen to touch uh, the leaves, it's absolutely fine. It is not going to disturb. Now because this succulent does not have farina, it has more of these red colors to protect itself from the harmful UV rays. So on these succulents, if the water tends to fall, it will tend to stay on it. So you have to ensure that you blow it off. Even on uh, your regular ones that have uh, the farina, the water will tend to turn like a crystal. I might probably show you an example how it tends to look like. Uh, so a lot of these succulents like our uh, Letizia, our Sedivaria Letizia does not have farina. Uh, the Echeveria Black Rose does not have any farina. So you can see the leaves are very glossy. So not all of them have farina, but few of them do have farina or I would say like 50-50. Some of them have farina, some of them don't. All you have to do is just give a look at them and you will be able to understand whether it has or not. Even over here, my sedum as well. Some of the sedums also have, you can see this uh, white coating. The lower ones don't have it but the upper ones have it and uh, probably this was touched and while moving around uh, in postage a lot of times they get damaged because usually this is where they happen to uh, use a uh, toilet paper to pack the succulents and a lot of times it gets disturbed so this is the new growth uh, the older growth once the farina is lost it's not going to come back the new growth has farina so i do not want to disturb even then a lot of times no matter how careful you are you happen to disturb and you can see my fingerprints are already on that so it's that delicate with a single touch the farina can be disturbed so let me quickly show you uh, how the farina tends to help the succulent so i'm going to take the succulent little bit closer to the camera and i'm going to drop some water on it and you will be able to see the moment i drop water 
it tends to turn into uh, it's 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 kind of a waterproof kind of a thing so as you can see uh, the moment i tend to drop water on the succulent you can see how the water tends to repel so this is the purpose of uh, farina apart from it saving the succulent from strong sun and pest uh, the succulent tends to have this uh, coating and you can see how the water will just with the slightest touch the water will just fall off and the crown area is kind of dry it does not let the water stay on the succulent and uh, if you happen to notice this if in case the water does not fall off which ideally it will fall off the moment you tilt the pot but in case if it doesn't all you have to do is just help and blow off the water and you can see how easily the water is going to go off from the succulent that has farina and now the succulent is almost pat dry now let's talk about the one that does not have farina what exactly happens for these succulents you have to be extremely careful and you do not drop any water in case if you drop any water you can always blow it off so this succulent does not have any farina and when i am going to drop some water on it you will be able to see you can see the water does not turn into a ball or basically it doesn't uh, look like it is repelling water it tends to stay on the succulent and this can easily rot the succulent because when the water tends to stay on the succulent in between the leaves it can easily rot the succulent and you can see the water does not repel but it tends to make the entire succulent leaf wet but even though the succulent is slightly glossy so that also tends to help a little bit but you can see the water is still present on the succulent leaves so all you have to do is just blow off the water especially during the monsoon season you do not want it to get wet because the water can easily stay in between and you won't even realize that there is water which can lead to either a fungal infection or a fungal attack or it can even rot the crown area it can even burn the succulent leaves if the succulent is exposed to sunlight post uh, rains or let's say after watering you forgot the water on the leaves uh, the sunlight can even burn those spots so you need to be extremely careful that you do not leave any water on the succulent leaves so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating